poet Roland Barthes talks about the amorous embrace as this post-coital cuddling, this intersubjective ecstasy that you enter with your romantic partner and that, is, that is beyond sexuality, that is beyond physical attraction, that space of shared soul smearing, a sort of sexually enabled, technologically mediated Buddhist space where two become one. I keep bringing back the term intersubjective ecstasy. Why do we love to cuddle? Why do we love to give each other baby names and, and treat each other like we're little children and create kind of womb-like spaces of comfort and divinity for one another where we can be as gods outside of time, temporarily stepping off that people mover that's carrying everyone else towards death, as Alan Harrington said. You know, we're trying to find escapes from the despair. Together we're creating a shared universe where we can float above the clouds of entropy, where we cannot die. You know, that is what love is about. It's about saving ourselves from mortality. You know, we are the gods with anuses, as Ernest Becker says, and we do everything we can to deny our own creatureliness, to, to deny our own decay, to deny our own despair. Can you blame us for squeezing so tightly around one another? Can you blame us for wanting to listen to beautiful music and cry together? Can you blame us for wanting to seek out comfort in each other's co-soul space and to say, please tell me you will not leave me. You will not disappear. I will not be alone. You know, I'm not going to drown. You know, just like, uh, you know, that's what we want. That's what we seek. And then they say, oh, we're codependent. We're weak. We should be independent. But come on, man. It's what all the psychedelic explorers have told us. It's ecodelic. It's all interconnected. We are all one. We're not alone. It's okay to be codependent. <laughs> it's not a bad thing. <laughs>